What's up, fishing fanatics? So I just want to do a quick update and uh, kind of go over the 60 that's upstairs right now. And as you can see, there's one of the albino bristle nose just chilling underneath of that uh, underwater river that has, for some reason, ceased to, to work. So I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. And it could be something as simple as it, the hose getting knocked off from the millions and millions of snails that we have in here, of course. But I'm not too concerned with it, simply because we added that as additional aeration. They already had plenty to go. It was just a, a feature look. But you can see it's slowly wanting to bubble. So I'm thinking that uh, it just got knocked off a little bit, which is fine. And like I said, the one's just chilling underneath of it, which is where one of them usually is. So it's pretty funny. Um, the Corys are getting big. They're continuing to grow in abundant sizes. So that helps. And the angels are all still good. I haven't split any of them up yet. We did use the 20 bear bottom that we were gonna put a pair into uh, to do the koi sword tails. So kind of refiguring that right now as we speak. I've got uh, a couple more tanks that we're working on as you've seen in the last videos for the fish room update. But uh, I'm not too terribly concerned at the moment with them. Um, the platinum, Pearl scales are doing really, really well. The albino pearl scales over there doing really well. The other is over here, still doing super good. It's starting to get pretty big too, which is nice to see. But you can see just the literally the, the hundreds and hundreds of, of ram's horns that we have in here now. And I've actually sold off quite a few of these guys. So had a bag, a couple bags to go out actually. Um, of these and the uh, trumpet snails that we have as well. So that was pretty nice, but I'm trying to see, which I'm not seeing at the moment. Normally they're out, but it is kind of late at night. Last count, we had at least three of the albino bristlenose, and then we had one of the browns. And I'd only gotten a few of the browns to begin with. Most of them were all albinos, and it looks like some of them didn't make it, but I'm not entirely sure where they went because... Uh, Unless the Corys ate them, they just kind of disappeared into thin air. Which is interesting to say the least, but it happens when you have fish like Corys that feed off of the bottom. So it could happen. It's very possible. But I mean, there's not a whole lot going on. You see that these guys are shoaling still. All of the Serpes are still doing really well. And chances are these are going to end up downstairs in the 72. And. Chances are we're going to end up selling off at least one, if not two pairs of the angels. And we're going to end up doing redoing this tank at some point as a feature tank um, with other fish in it as well. So we'll see how that goes. But that's kind of the plan for it. And nothing's happening just yet with it. We're kind of on a hold simply because we're waiting for the tanks downstairs to finish cycling. And if you haven't watched the video, I will include a link at the very end of this one to the latest fish room update. But you will see that uh, we added an additional, oh, good grief. I want to say, as of right now, I think there's 12 tanks cycling that are just about done. The 72 is being tested tonight. As a matter of fact, it's being tested now as we speak. And what will end up happening is more than likely these touchers will go. And then we have some other tetras as well scattered out throughout the tanks. We have some blood fins and black skirts along with uh, some diamond tetras. I believe those are all going to end up in the 72. And like I said, chances are I'm going to end up selling a couple pairs of the angels. Um, or I should say we're going to end up selling a couple pairs of them. But what I'd really like to see happen is get our koi and eyebrow here together as well as the major and spot here. Uh, those are my main two pairs that I really want to keep just because he's been around forever. So that's kind of the plan right now. It's a little late at night and I'm just now going to be recording this and uploading this tonight. It's been, uh, been a rough day, but uh, I'm not going to get into that. So it's all good. Um, but this is what we're looking at doing right now. And I haven't really gone over the 60 very much at all. So I'm kind of just going back and forth with it. 
you can see we did end up end up losing one of the golds um the other gold that we had is now gone uh, what ended up happening was there was a lot of aggression we had a pair over here in this corner that were laying eggs and the other gold kept coming in and eating them and was being chased off um didn't look too violent while we were up this happened really late at night and didn't really think too much of it figured that uh, everything was going to turn out okay and when we woke up the other gold had a, a pretty big chunk taken out of them so they didn't really take too kindly to the aggression towards their eggs and uh they continued to try to lay them and ended up turning around and eating them anyways but we did lose a, a gold in the process which happens when you have a, a tank full of angels like this you do your best but sometimes if you're not on top of them you know, things like that do happen because they are cichlids at the end of the day and cichlids will behave as cichlids do. And there's another albino nestled into the the filter over there, I just noticed. But um, angels are angels. They are cichlids. They are going to do what they're going to do. You know, they're going to defend their territory and once they're spawning, they get highly aggressive. And if you go near their eggs, they get extremely aggressive. And uh, for whatever reason, that little gold koi that we had, which was one of the smaller fish, one of the three smallest fish we had, he was no bigger than this guy here, decided that he didn't like them laying eggs and it didn't end well for him. So, yeah. Oh, now there's a second one underneath of there. Yeah, it's about right. There you go. And the one's still over there. So there's three out of the five that I know are still in here, which is half of what we got. Um, plus, we still got the four supers downstairs, the super red bristle nose downstairs as well. So, but yeah, I mean, it, it does happen, guys. If you have, you know, angel fish that you keep together, if they do pair up and you don't want to take a chance of losing any, any of them, you definitely need to get them separated out. And I know I've been talking about separating them out for a while and I was going to do it, going to do it, and going to do it. And then I couldn't decide on what exactly I wanted to do with them. If I wanted to keep them and breed that specific pair, or if I wanted to separate them all out and get them going or what I wanted to do. And then it, it kind of dawned on me that uh, we're not really set up to have four pairs of, of breeding angels at the moment, which would require several more tanks and uh, a lot bigger tanks at that. So given the fact that angels can lay between you know, 50 to 300 eggs at a time, and you got four pairs that could be up to 1,200 eggs, which is 1,200 angels. And you can do the math on that, I'm sure, for, you know, tank size and quantity and food and grow out and time and effort and energy. And we just were not set up to do it. So, um, yeah, it just didn't happen at that particular moment in time. And as you've seen, there is a pair of breeding angels downstairs. They have spawned twice in the last month and a half. Um, actually, yeah, been about a month and a half. Seems that they spawn every three weeks or so. Um, but anyways, uh, they did eat the last, last batch of eggs as well. That's their second go. Um, they were all fertilized, though. Or not all of them, but they were fertilized eggs because you could see there were some that were clearly white and some that were clearly dark, you know, dark brown, which is, or tan, dark tan, if you will, um, that would be the fertilized color of them. And uh, they're just super, for whatever reason, they're super skittish in the tank downstairs and they're hiding out in that corner all the time. So when they did lay the eggs, we gave them a day and a half and they hadn't eaten them, thought maybe we were going to make it. Day and a half later, they ate them. So... I mean, they almost made us wigglers this time. So they're progressing forward. We'll probably let them spawn one more time and see what happens, but uh, chances are um, they will be able to parent raise their fry. It's just gonna take them a little while to adjust. Um, it seems like that would be the case and that they're doing really well, but they are still younger and you can tell that this is probably the first time that they've spawned um, or paired up for that matter which it'll be his first time as well for pairing up. So you don't expect miracles overnight, and it does take a little while to get used to it for them to adjust and for them to actually take care of what they need to take care of and take care of the babies the way they do. So chances are we're going to end up selling the pair that's downstairs now and this pair as well because these guys have paired up as well. And... 
and uh, have spawned once up here, which I didn't record because literally within hours of them spawning, the eggs were gone. So they didn't make it. But uh, And again, they're in a community tank with other angels, so I, I don't expect any of them to make it up here. But that pair will probably go up as well. I do want to keep uh, the albino, obviously, pearl scale on the rest of the pearl scales and the koi for sure. So it's just going to be basically the gold and one of the gold marbles. Um, or two of the gold marbles, I should say, that will end up staying in here for right now, I think. Because at some point later on down the road, we're hoping that these two will pair up with somebody as well, just because of... of their design obviously it's beautiful so rambling a little bit sorry um i do want to remind you guys that at 100 subscribers i will be doing a live stream and going forward i will try to do uh, quite a few live streams as well uh if you have not watched the channel before i do release a video every day some are updates some are educational some are just me babbling which i'm really good at doing if you haven't noticed already, I am trying to update the playlists and keep everything organized. I have to get on that, and we'll do my best to do that as well uh, with all the newer videos that are out so that you can go in and see the progress in each tank and the updates on each tank as well as the fish room downstairs. So trying to keep everything organized for you guys the best that I can. And you can see the water's a little low right now too. But uh, that's because we got rid of some snails too. And I just haven't filled it back up yet. Um, anyways, sorry. Sidetracked. Shiny. So, yeah, if you guys haven't already, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, and share. Let's get the word out. Uh, get some more education out there. Hopefully get some new fish keepers into our hobby. Be very, very greatly appreciated as it does help out. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop them in the box below. As always, I'll do my best to respond or answer any questions you might have. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, happy fish keeping.